Okay, I really hate it when my video quits like that, and I was so close to being done, but let's finish it up. So what I was doing is filling in the two-way table with the same information. The 20 came from 25 minus 5. The 35 came from 40 minus 5. And then, of course, I could subtract here also to get 60% who don't read the USA Today, and that's these two put together, the 20 and the 40. By the way, here's the 40. And I could also subtract these and get 75%, which are the people who read who don't read the New York Times, which is the um, 35 and the 40 put together. So I like the uh, uh, Venn diagram in a way because it shows the overlap really obviously. Let's do a little bit more highlighting. Make sure you know where these numbers landed. This whole piece is the USA Today people. This whole piece is the New York Times people. This is the both. This is the neither and it matches that. Uh, these numbers don't have a place to be written on the Venn diagram, which is why I like the Venn diagram better. And then one more thing that might help you is if you're looking at the union, it is both of these put together. Maybe I'll just do this. And if you're looking at the intersection, which is the and, it is just the middle. So that is the key thing to keep in mind that we're talking about the both, including the middle, or we're talking about just the middle. And that is the pictorial representation. And boy, this second video was super short, but that's okay.